Hey y'all, hey. Welcome back to more with Mo. And today is day three. Happy Kwanzaa, everyone. So today, the word is Ujima. U-J-I-M-A. And that means collective work and responsibility. So as I've been saying for the past two days, you want to pour out your water, um, a little bit of water into your plants to, uh, that's called libation. And what that is, is you're just paying your respects to your ancestors, asking your ancestors to bless your festivities, bless your day, you know, things of that nature. You're just paying respect. Um, <clears throat> and as I said before, you would nominate somebody to, you know, light the candle. You start off with the black candle which was the first day, unity. And that word was Umoja. <laughs> yes, Umoja. That meant unity, so you would like the black candle. Um, so, well, let me get to day two. Day two was the Kuji, Kuji Kugulia. Kuji Kugulia. However you want to pronounce it, but we had that episode yesterday. I don't even want to go into all that detail and things of that nature because it's just too much. But that was your self-determination. Now, for the past, as I said, for the past eight and a half years, eight, eight and a half years, I've um, been celebrating Kwanzaa. So, now that I'm like really looking into the research on how you light the candles, like some um, sites that I seen, it was you light the black candle first and then the furthest red candle. And then some sites I seen was you light the black candle first and then you light the next red candle. You know, like the black candles here, the next candle over, that's the one you light. So I'm not quite for sure how the order it goes, but I know it goes black, red, green. Like you, you light the black one, and then the next day you light the red one. Third day, you like the green one. And then you go like the red. You know, it's back and forth. But every day when you start, the first candle is lit is the black one. Um, so today is day three. As I said, the word is Ujima. And it means collective work and responsibility. Um, so what I have pulled up on my laptop is I just, you know, Google day three. Just to give you some different insights. And from what i see, It says this day we light the third candle on the Kanara. Which is the candle holder. I forgot to tell you. I mean, if you can't find the candle holder, the Kanara. Which has all seven um, holders for the candles. Then just get you like a little mason jar or whatever. Paint the jars. You know, three green, three red, one black. Place the candles in there. You know, there's always a way around something. If you can't find something, try to substitute it, but try to make it, you know, still the same thing. Um, so it says, this day we light the third candle for, on the canard for the collective work and responsibility. Pause for a moment of gratitude to those that help make you who you are today. Your ancestors, community members, your mom, your parents, your friends, somebody to get your back, you know, person that you can show your gratitude to, you know, they could, um, it doesn't matter how big or small of an impact they made, they just made an impact. So you want to show your gratitude to them. And then you want to reflect on how you can make a difference. Big or small to somebody else. Hmm. How many of you people are willing to do that? As I said, these are things that you can incorporate into your everyday life. It doesn't just have to be from December 26th to January 1st. Some of these things are things just for yourself. You know? It's not hard. And then, uh... How can you pass it on? Like, 
what would you do to make somebody else well not even make somebody else what was done for you how can you do it to help somebody else that's what I want to say um so yeah give somebody a call tell them thank you um just tell somebody how you really feel um what else can I say I don't know this one is I think is really a like even with self-determination well let me google I'm gonna use self-determination because I cannot pronounce that word even with it showing to me how to pronounce it I still can't pronounce it and of course I'm looking at my notes because I have things written down yeah <laughs> but um yeah, so the person that um, lit the candles, that was nominated to light the candles, you know, they say what um, collective work was done for them. What collective work will they continue to do? Um, the, resp the responsibilities, I guess, that was put a place on them or the responsibilities of them going from teenagers, excuse me, to adults. You know, how can he, how can they pass that forward in life? Uh, so, yeah, the person that lit the candle, you know, they start off the discussion, conversation, however you want to word it. Everybody uses different words. They um light the candle, you know, you have your discussion. Everybody drinks from the unity cup or if you don't like to drink at the people, I would say get them little shot glass cups, the plastic ones, and pour fruit juice because that's what you're supposed to drink, fruit juice. And just take a shot afterwards. And then the person that lit the candle, they blow the candle out. So that is day three. Happy Kwanzaa. Uh, Ujima. Collective work and responsibility. Leave a comment in the, um, below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And that is all I have for you today. As I said, it's going to be a short video. Straight into the point. Um, have a nice night. Remember, always think positive. Speak positively. Pass positive words on to the next person. And until tomorrow for day four. I'll see you later. Please like, share, and subscribe to more with Mo. And I thank you for watching. And I'm out.